Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. This is the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. It's Europe's largest and it's in an active war zone, raising fears of a potential nuclear disaster. Russia took control of the facility in March, and since then Moscow and Kyiv have blamed each other for intensified shelling on and around the plant. Any attack to a nuclear plant is a suicidal thing, and I hope that uh, those attacks uh, will end. Experts are concerned that damage to the plant risks releasing radioactive material into the environment. The nuclear plant faces two main threats, direct and indirect. We're talking about primarily shelling and attacks on two particular types of facility. So these are the nuclear power plants themselves, housing the reactors, and the spent fuel cooling pools. And both of these contain nuclear fuel that has been through a reactor. The plants at Zaporizhia are inside containment buildings. The idea is that if there is any issue with inside that reactor that leads to fuel melting, explosions, then the containment building is meant to hold all of that within, to literally contain any of the negative consequences. Containment buildings in modern nuclear plants are built to withstand scenarios like an accidental aircraft strike, but it's unknown if they can withstand the force of artillery shells or missiles. But the greater risk potentially lies with the spent fuel cooling pools, the six large pools seen here, that cool down used up nuclear fuel. Those are just outside in the open air with no physical protection over them from attack. And this is very common at nuclear facilities to store spent nuclear fuel in this way. But it does mean that any attack or any explosion that would hit those could lead to much more severe consequences immediately. If the water inside those pools can no longer be actively cooled, then that fuel will heat up. It will likely heat up very quickly to the point where it catches fire. This can lead to a breakdown of the radioactive material, which is then released into the atmosphere. Indirect threats could involve damage to the resources the nuclear plant relies on to function safely. The availability of expert workers, the cooling water, the off-site power, any damage to that risks stopping those cooling functions. And whilst there are backup systems in place, if these are not able to cope, then we could see the fuel no longer being cooled and it overheating and eventually catching fire, which would again lead to a radioactive materials release. The potential danger from a radioactive release at Zaporizhia would depend on several factors, including how much material is released and how it travels, with weather playing a role. Experts are divided on the potential severity of that danger, but they are united in their calls for attacks around the nuclear plant to stop. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.